What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today's episode we're going to be finishing up this Global MX-5 cup car repair. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to work. Alright, so we're going to be fixing this dent here from the accident. But I don't like to paint over dents and there's a couple little small little dings here. The dent right there. You can see it. Yeah, there you can. And there's one right here. We'll go ahead and address all those. But the main reason we're repairing this hood is the damage right here in this corner. All right, so we've got the filler work done on this hood. Now we can put some primer on this thing. Once the primer's dry, we can sand the primer with 220 grit on a block, and then we can DA it with some 320. Now we can put the bumper system on this raw plastic bumper. First we'll get it wiped down and then we can spray the primer on it. We got the booth all loaded up. We got the bumper. It's a raw plastic bumper. We've got it primed with the bumper system. We've got the new fender sanded with 320 DA. And we've got the uh, hood. It's been primed. We blocked the primer with 220 and then sanded over the whole thing with some 320 on a DA also. Got it taped up. We're going to wipe it down one more time. And then we can spray on one coat of white sealer. But before we do that, I've got to put my paint suit on. Let's go wipe it down and tack it off. It's not a game, it's a ranch thing. We've got the sealer mixed up. We've got to put one coat of this on the parts. So come on in the booth with me and I'll show you how it's done.
We've got the single stage all mixed up. It's been about 15 minutes, so the sealer should be flashed off. We've got to put two coats of this single stage on these parts. So come on in the booth and let me show you how that's done. All right, so I got the last coat of single stage sprayed on there. Let's go give it a close up look and make sure there's nothing I need to address before I clean out my paint gun. All right, so it looks pretty good. See any runs, no drips, no fouls. We're looking for runs or bugs that may have landed in the, the last coat. Also looking for maybe something that's not covered or a dry spot. I don't see any of that on this. Everything looks good. So we're going to let this dry overnight. We'll come back in the morning and start hanging these parts back on the car. All right, so it's the next morning. We're gonna get this hood untaped and get these parts hung back on the car. We've got pretty much everything buttoned up on this just to make it a roller. We'll get the fender, the hood, and the bumper hung on this car. We'll also put the wheels and tires on it and we'll get it off the clamps so we can get this thing off the frame machine. All right, so the car is off the clamps and on its wheels. So let's go ahead and click these rocker covers back on and then we can get this thing off the frame machine. All right, so we've got this one all put back together. Well, as far as we can, they, uh, the customer wants to do the final assembly. So we just kind of set the parts on just so they can uh, get it transported. All right, so let's get this Global MX-5 Cup car loaded up in our enclosed trailer. We're going to be delivering this thing to an open parking lot because the race team that's coming to pick it up is driving a big rig truck, and it's tough for the big rigs to get back here to our shop.
Artificial intelligence is no match for natural stupidity. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be about it for this video. Got another Global MX-5 Cup car completed and delivered. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hit that like button. If you have any thoughts or questions, you can leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. That way you won't miss any future content. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya!